further to the amazing demonstration I did of my new eBay acquisition, I will now demonstrate, this is my, very proudly I present, the love of my life, the um, Casio PB2000 calculator, which is, let me just put, uh, almost done so, and I'm just going to drop it, one sec, basically I showed what it was, I just want to show my first actual program, that I wrote on it, this is the one, this, this, what you see in here is the actual editor, which is got my first example of my well, it's my work, I suppose you could say. In main, this is not very clever. Um, the those two little labels are little buttons. Those two little square bracket things at the bottom are little kind of like that they map onto the the button below it. So if I want to run that program, I'll press that silver key. That's that that thing there. I just moved it off so you can't see, but. And then the, 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 the editor is the display showing me the program itself, which I can kind of move around and edit. And uh, it's like it is actually C. I don't know anything about C in this computer, but this is um, it does work, it does run, but it doesn't do what I want. So here's my cursor keys. So if I can show you that, basically, I thought that print F was like a general C function. But I just noticed I put a uh, like a space in there. What I was trying to do basically was print like in I. Say like go there equals. Let's see if I can do an equal here. Yeah. Uh, equal. That right, equals there. Equal. And that's power to. Sorry. Backspace something. No, base space. Okay, I've got the base space. I mean, base space. And that like, equal is there. So I've entered an equal sign into it. And I'm going to now, now try and enter a numeric, numeric, numeric into it. And here it comes. It's going to be number one. And it is. It's a number one. It's come out. This is really like groundbreaking. Like, you know, you know, state of the art. So the you know, technology of the time. You have to remember this 80s cutting edge and the display is beautiful and it's got 32k of RAM and, uh, not particularly impressive processor but it's handheld and portable and um, and it can even have a floppy disk if, which is I don't know, I think you can put it on if you want um, and, and it's got a scene in it which is quite impressive you know for college boys learning how to you know doing electronics kind of stuff at the time that would have been quite a nice thing to have in their pocket to play around with that, that's really what it was if, for the 80s so I've set my thing now to, I noticed that the, the mistake, mate, I've set my thing anyway, I, I, I didn't, hadn't said before so it would have been bad anyway because it's not good to know and you utilize the variable um, and see. Um, and I noticed that mistake, maybe what it was, it's just there was a space there, but I don't know, I'm just, maybe I'm just getting into hope, but this seems to be what the problem was, maybe I'm just hoping, I hope I'm not just hoping. But that was there. There was there's a mistake. There's there is a space there now. I don't know. I think it was there before. I'm gonna try and delete that out. So yeah, I'm hoping. I'm, I think maybe I, I could be running just hope up here. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm doing that. I don't mean to set you up for a, 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 a disappointment of this amazing software release that I'm about to try and well. I'm, I'm not trying to make you set up for like a disappointment. Well, I, I, I did notice that was there. It shouldn't have been. Now, it's basically just that it signs, it declares a variable, signs a value of one, and says print that number, print f percent one format two, because that, that would format it as a numerical and use the variable i. So, the, whatever is there will format as a numerical. That's what that does in C, that percent n thing. But I, I'm, I'm not a hope there was the space before it. I'm not sure if it was, but anyway, that's the end of it. So when I run that, I'll press that key, that should try and run the program, load number, okay, so it's loaded off the memory of the computer's kind of DOS operating system, but it's got kind of like a silly little DOS inside of it, which is, which is, this is very simple, unless you see disks and stuff like that, that, you know, and use the same little window to, to, to load programs off as, as 
obviously it's, it's limited compared to like an MS DOS, but it's, it's, it's very you know, it does what it's supposed to do. So this is going to run the program. It's not like a real compiled. It doesn't you don't really compile it. You run it like you would a basic program. But this is not going to show me if it works or not. Okay, here we go. Oh no, it didn't work. Sorry, I've let you down. It, it's just printed in again. Sorry about that. But anyway, that's my first one. I don't know much about the C on this language. So I mean, I did, I did always say I wasn't very good at it. But uh, that's my first one. It's not a very good one. I hope I'll get better from now on. Thank you.